Deep breath in and deep breath out. Deep breath in and deep breath out. There is only one question that you need to be asking yourself as you move through the energies that are about to just sweep on through for you. Were you there for my struggle? Hmm. See, when you start to see the fruits of your labor, the struggle that you went through to get those fruits is then tested by the number of people who come back and think that they are supposed to eat. So, in order for you to understand what it is that I'm trying to say to you, Cancer, I need for you to go with me on a mind trip. When you decide one day you are going to hit the gym. You're going to get a membership. You set a goal. You are determined to meet this goal. And no matter what it takes, you are going to stick it out. So you go to the gym. You got your nice outfit on. And you observe the room. You see people pumping iron. You see people killing the machines. You see people doing their thing on the aerobics floor. And you're like, yeah, I got this. Two minutes later, you couldn't even breathe. You were struggling to run on the treadmill. You were struggling to keep up on the elliptical. When you went to the aerobics class, you literally felt like you were so behind, you might as well just give up. You felt like you did not belong there at all. It all looked so easy, but you realized that this was going to be a process and you were going to have to be patient if you wanted to meet your goal. So day by day, you struggled, you struggled, you struggled. It was hard and it hurt. You went through pain. You had to go late nights. You had to squeeze these workouts into your schedule. You had to do what you had to do to make it work. And then when you left the gym, you had to do what? You had to eat right. So you put in a lot of energy and effort into meeting this goal. Now, lo and behold, boom. You sexy, you in the mirror like cat, 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 cat. You got cuts and you, you all sexy all everywhere and you met your goal. Now, you're the one on the machine. You're the one working out. You're the one looking good and everyone's watching you. Including some people that you knew. Including some people who were like, why is that person going to the gym? What do cancer think they gonna do going to the gym? They ain't gonna do nothing. Now they come in and they see you doing it. They see your plaque cat cat. They see your results. And they're like, you know what? I can do that. So they walk up to the machine and they pick up those weights and they start to lift it. Oh, uh oh. Looks like a struggle there, buddy. They like, no, 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 no. See, see, I just I just had my positioning wrong. My, my feet was in the wrong place. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my posture right. Let me get my posture right. So they start trying to get their posture right. You know, they repositioning they self. And then they do it again. And it looks even worse. They look awkward. They look weird. They look like you did when you first started. As a matter of fact, the difference is you knew your struggle. You had already been through the process. You had already been through the pain. You had already learned how to build up your endurance. You learned how to lift those heavy weights. But they didn't go through that same process. Let's break all of this down. See, that gym represents your goals, your dreams, whatever it is that you were trying to do. It takes endurance, something that doesn't necessarily happen overnight. Something that you have to be determined, that you have to stick at. You have to squeeze it into your everyday life schedule. You have to make it work. You have to be dedicated in that gym and outside of that gym. So while you're pursuing your goals outside of the house, meeting people, networking, you know, doing whatever it is that it is that pertains to your dreams. You are also in the house studying and learning and getting the knowledge to go ahead and be able to bring it even more into manifestation and make it even more fruitful. And the thing about it is, when you get to that point, people are going to look at you like, I could have started that business. I could have got married if I wanted to. I could have did this and that if I wanted to. Your reply should just simply be, let me see you try. And let them try. But the main question you're going to have to ask yourself, Cancer, while all of this good energy is coming to you, while all of these 
fruits of your labor are being presented on the table, who is going to sit down and eat with you? The question that you need to make sure you're asking while you're deciding who's sitting at this table to eat, the fruits of your labor, the main question should be, were you there during my struggle? All right, Cancer, I need y'all to get ready, okay? Now, the main thing about this mind trip that I need for you guys to get is that whole struggle part. They weren't there for the struggle. They were not there for the struggle, okay? I want to push that in your spirit right now. If I'm, if I'm pushing any vibe to you right now, I need you to understand. They were not there for your struggle. That's the main question you're going to have to ask yourself. Were they here for my struggle? But were they here for my struggle? That's the question. And you better ask it often with everyone. Okay? We're talking clear cut yes or no. That's the piece I need you to focus on, Cancer. All right? Now, shout out to you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, in the last set of videos, you guys had, what, 23,000 views. I appreciate you guys for that so much. That would make you number one for our next set of mind trips that come out. So congratulations for that. And you guys will be getting a mind trip along with a visual. So I appreciate you guys for that so much. And I'm so grateful, so thankful. Go ahead, continue to like, subscribe, share. Tell all your friends about Water Star Vibes. And um, if you need a private reading, hit me at Water Star Vibes at gmail.com. All right, so we're going to see how this thing is going to play out, okay? For a lot of you guys, like I said, this is a lot of entrepreneur energy, okay? I just saw the Ace of Coins just popped out as I was shuffling. Brand new beginning in money ventures. Remember, the gem represents whatever you're trying to pursue, okay? Whatever goal that you have to go at religiously, the thing that you can't just do overnight, the thing that people will probably be like, yeah, that's kind of impossible, you know? That's what we're talking about. Where are my dream chases at? You know what I mean? All right, let's see what we get first off. Oh, Eight of Pentacles. We already kicking it off talking about money. I told you, entrepreneurial endeavor. Some of you guys could be studying under someone or watching other people. When you step foot in that gym, there were other people around that gym lifting weights, pumping iron, right? They were getting it, okay? These are other moguls that you watch, other people who, who inspire you, um, people that you want to kind of do what they're doing, Maybe add your own little twist to it. This is um, even stacking up bread, getting money, finding different ways to um, make your gifts and your talents work and be compensated for that. Okay, this is probably what's showing. Some of you guys may be stepping into like new tax brackets and some of you guys are just getting like promotions, like bigger money deals like this. This um, gym is like you get in a promotion and you apply for something that you probably were unqualified for but now you get to get it or something or it's like a really good position all right now what is it crossed by hmm eight of cups so we got the tail of two eights pay attention to the eights in the next coming weeks okay we got two eights here um this one is walking away from things situations people that no longer serve us this is your question once again were they there for my struggle? But were they there for my struggle? And this is what you need to be asking yourself as you're evaluating. So as you're stacking this bread, as you're coming into this new money, as you're coming into this entrepreneurial endeavor that's going to make you, you know, solid, it's going to come with the walking away. Some people can't go. We all know that. Okay. I think, you know, we've all come to that conclusion. Now. I think that's pretty much in the atmosphere. A lot of people know not everybody you started with is not everybody going to finish with. We already know that by now. Okay. So to make it easier on deciding who to walk away from, we now get a question, but were you there for my struggle? Okay. Now, uh, the deep root of it, the hangman. I love this card because it's a money, right? Um, to me, it's just kind of like you get to wrap yourself in knowledge. Usually in traditional tarot, this person um, has like a halo over their head or like a thing around their face to show that they're being enlightened. This is like wrapping the whole entire body up. Like I'm going away for a while. For some of y'all who just like been in hibernation mode, staying away from people, staying away from like going to the parties and hanging out, uh, stop being on social media so much, you know what I mean? Stop talking and gossiping and hearing talking, talking gossip about other people. Like some of y'all just completely shut yourself out. But the thing about this hang man, he not going in just to be quiet or just to go to sleep. He's going in because he's being deeply enlightened. 
This is you going to the gym at night and putting in the work when you're not there. This is you in the struggle, mummified. But this is the part, who was there during that part when you were becoming enlightened? Because remember, when you're going through that struggle, that's when you're becoming enlightened anyway. Okay, when you're going through that tough time, that's when you're learning, that's when you're growing. Whew, for some of y'all, that's really heavy. Now, let's see what's going on in the recent past, okay? Let me just get y'all the signs that are here. We got um, Earth sign energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And then we also have um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Doesn't have to necessarily be that sign. Could be that energy, okay? All right, we got some two cards that want to pop off for the recent past. The Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Have you ever uh, tried to do something for like the first time? And everybody kind of thought you were crazy or they laughed at you or they talked about you and you felt like you were like naked like you just ran outside naked you exposed a part of yourself like maybe a gift or a talent like nobody knew like you could sing or nobody knew that you wanted to you know be an actor or nobody knew that you would that you baked right and then one day he was like here I am everybody this is what I can do and for the first time and then he was just naked and everybody was like Oh, that's what you look like? Because to me, when you bring out creative pursuits, when you bring out your gifts and your talents, to me, that's like, I don't know, like being exposed a little bit. Like that's what your soul looks like, you know? Like, like your creative talents manifest and it shows who you are on the inside. And when you bring out a gift and a talent that some people aren't used to you having, it makes you look awkward. It makes you like, like, ugh. Now let me show you this. I love this deck. Let me tell you. Show, let me show you, okay. So here at the center of the reading, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Pay attention. This is you building, right? This is where you are. But in the recent past, this is where you were. The Four, okay? A breakdown again of that Eight. But look, the money. You see how he looks so awkward? Look at this. Here... Look how awkward he looks. And look at that little stack of money. It's four. That was in the past. But now look how strong and structured that person is. It's doubled. You guys have doubled in size. Whether it's money, whether it is you um, showing your results or things really working for you. You guys really have transformed. And that is such a beautiful depiction for you to really understand that you've grown. You've doubled, or at least you're about to, okay? In the past, you look so awkward and so crazy. Look at that little stack of money. Now you got your, your structure built. It's solid. You got the money all set. You putting the, the cherry on top. And you don't look so awkward anymore. You don't look so scared and so crazy anymore. And I think that's why two cards popped out, okay? Because we got that nine of swords here. And that went with the um, the four of pentacles. So when you first stepped out there and, and showed your soul and became naked for everybody to see what your soul looked like, your creative talents, your gifts, all of the stuff you really want to do and be with yourself, it puts you in a state of anxiety. Like most people, when you first step out there for the first time, people are going to judge you. You don't want to be vulnerable and judge for the first time like that but you gotta go through what the process you gotta go through the what the struggle and it brought brought a lot of anxiety okay now what's crowning you what's in your headspace who oh, the knight of cups some of y'all are waiting to hear messages from this cancer scorpio pisces who you've possibly walked away from or who has pisces, possibly walked away from you okay the energy i'm feeling here is that um cliffhanger energy um this could also be connected to this nine of swords maybe you guys had to move away from this energy this person because they weren't helping you to get to this eight they were probably holding you at the four causing a lot of anxiety a lot of stress like i said but you're still waiting to hear from this person it's like some of y'all like i said it's cliffhanger style like y'all still waiting to hear from this person okay let me clarify that right now Ooh, seven of swords Feel like this person got away with something or is getting away with something being deceptive you're thinking about this person waiting on them to come in and say something but you might also think they're doing something deceptive they're lying about their whereabouts we got cancer scorpio pisces energy we have aquarius libra gemini energy again and we got that nine of swords here with that aquarius libra gemini energy 
So you guys could definitely be feeling like you either got away from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces and they're wondering about you, like, are you going to come back and say something or are you getting away? But somebody feels, feels like they've been deceived, lied to. That's why I wanted to clarify that, goodness. All right, well, what's going to happen? What are we making of this? But you're, you're looking good because you're walking away from it and you're focused on your coin. But you got to get rid of the emotions if you, you know, truly trying to move on, move on. All right, now, what's happening in the near future? Three of Pentacles. Work, collaboration. Not only do people see your worth, they're ready to throw it at you. They're ready to collab. Partnerships. Okay. Um, make sure that your negotiations are on point. If you got to look that up on YouTube, look up videos on YouTube, how to negotiate. Look in your field and your industry to know how much money you should ask for when you go in like to a job interview. That kind of energy, okay? Some of you guys just really being promoted. That gym, it's, it's been working for you. You're looking real good. That gym got you looking real in shape right now, okay? Coin, money, 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 coin. What you fear? The queen of swords. But some of y'all just picked up third party. This same energy here, you, you fear either this third party situation, like she's saying something, he or she, I take it out of the plus. But I feel like for some of you all, there's something brewing. Some of you guys may feel like this person has stole your man type energy. You know what I mean? And you're afraid that this person is getting away. And that's why you're wondering, like, are you coming back? The deceptive energy, it might not even be coming from your person. It may be coming from the third party. I feel like this person is stopping at nothing. And that's your fear. Let me clarify. So this person will stop at nothing. This evil, evil woman. Mm, judgment. She is trying to revive something with your person. I feel like your person is really stuck in a rut, okay? Judgment is all about trying to revive something, something that was dead and dormant. Like you might even fear this person coming back or being the reason why your person is not saying something to you. There's some type of deceptive energy surrounding a situation with a male who is not saying something to you because there's another female who is like casting her own little spells. Look at this card. Look at that pot and it's a man in there and it's a wand coming down from the sky. It's like she is casting and you are tired of that. Damn. Okay, let us go and see how you look though. How do you look? How do others see you and view you? Seven of Cups. Confusing. So whoever this person is, they're confused. We got this seven again. There's some type of, I just heard monkey wrench or monkey being thrown in a wrench or something like that like there's a um that may apply to somebody who's a mechanic too Ooh, i just got that um but somebody is causing confusion may even be this person here someone is causing confusion we gonna get to the bottom of this cancer wow i'm ready to dig in okay this is getting interesting we have somebody who is causing a lot of confusion and causing confusion in your person's head about you this person here this woman is a master of I don't even want to say manipulation because she has a sword, meaning she's truly intellectual about how she puts things that will make someone say, hmm, maybe you are right. So you could totally be, you know, a good person, have good things going for you in this net. But this person is so good with words and so good with uh, logic and reasoning that one would almost change their entire opinion about you. Because this person is so smooth with words. And as you can see, your person is a knight, not a king. Okay, not an emperor. So this one here is a little bit more gullible to believe what the queen says. Okay? Especially if your person was dependent. Or was codependent. Or has always been codependent on another person. Always have to be in a relationship. Or always have to live with somebody. Or always, you know, maybe got mommy issues and things of that nature. Because this is a cancer card. So this is that emotions, that feelings, you know, that kind of energy. So she's a queen of her own castle. And he's like in and out. That's what them knights do. They go in and out. Okay. Also with that deceptive party. That's another reason why uh, I'm picking up that energy. Because... Brace yourself, Cancer. And we going in deep because I know y'all video came out a little bit late. So we going deep. <sighs> He's dipping in and out on her as well. Oh, goodness. I just saw Tiger Woods. I saw Tiger Woods, but I just heard Tiger Woo, Tiger Woo. For all my people out there that I like Shaft, when Samuel S. Jackson, we talking about the first one. 
Oh, that's so funny. It came out in, when I was in seventh grade. <laughs> And we got that seven right there, that Tiger Woo, boy. Let me tell you, just break it down just in case you don't understand what I'm saying. He is not being totally honest with her either. He is going in and out. She has more, um, could be even fear about other people. This too is what this seven represents too with this. Y'all, it's a mess. Your person is a mess. Your person is uh, not, not quite there yet in the level of understanding or spiritual awakening that needed to be um like how you are here with this hangman going inside this person is on a is on a journey you got to give them at least a little bit of credit for going through the journey but at the same time the the influence and the power that somebody has over your mind if it's that strong boo boo then you might as well just go with the other person because you spiritually are on a whole nother trajectory and you don't have time to be put back in this energy here that's not a source energy because you've got this business this coin this money to focus on these collaborations these partnerships now what is going on um let's go ahead i'm gonna look a little bit deeper in how how people see you let's look at other people okay so besides relationship what about friends and all these other people and stuff let's see what we get Ooh, ten of swords it's over with it's dead it's done now this could work one of two ways this is they see you as walking away from them and not you know having a chance to deal with you or this could be just like the vibe the energy that you're giving off like i'm done or they can be giving you this energy but it's death it's death to a lot of relationships and it's due to a lot of deception it's due to a lot of, not only is the question, were you a part of my struggle or were you there for my struggle, but were you one of the ones who made me have to struggle? Were you the ones who contributed to my struggle? And that's what's going to be ending a lot of relationships. Because when you get to this point, especially because you know how I am, if you're watching this video, right? I am put here to awaken soul, destiny, and life purpose. So if you getting this right now, yeah, it's cut out time for all of this energy, for real, for real, on a level that you probably never thought or expected that it would have to be. But yeah, it's that real. We are stepping energetically into a time that I don't think this earth at any other point in the whole creation of this planet has ever been on. The vibration is raising. We're going to the 5D. Look that up. Look that up on YouTube. We're going to the 5D. We're shifting to the 5D. Some of us are already there. We're in the air now. This is where it is. And the way this nine of swords is set up, this seven of swords is set up, this ten of swords, and at the whole entire center of the reason reading, we have the eight of cups, which is walking away. But were you there for my struggle? This person coming back in that you're thinking about is coming with the same line, deceptive energy. And if they do come back, that's what they're coming with lies the same mess that this person said they twisted it up i hate that seven of swords card it's a beautiful depiction shout out to the the illustrator but no i don't like that energy all right what you hope for goodness i got a lot of cards just doing their own thing right now there's a lot of upset in the atmosphere a lot of uproar you know what? It's a lot of silent fighting. A lot of silent fighting. I suppose we're in the air now. People ain't fighting physically no more. They ain't arguing no more. They going through it back and forth in their head because we're not in the presence of a lot of people that we're walking away from. But it's still that energy of y'all arguing back and forth in the head. You think you arguing by yourself getting your last point across while you thinking and deciding. They over there doing the same thing about you. Doing all this and that and thinking about you and y'all going back and forth. And energetically, y'all in the air fighting. That's why you got to cut it off. Because it's just as strong and powerful as y'all sitting here in the 3D fight. You fighting in the spirit. That's even more amplified. All right. So let's go ahead and see what you hope for. Six of swords to move on to calmer waters. Can we count it again? Six of swords, seven of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords. And all because who? The queen of swords. Some of y'all are dealing with a child in a grown man suit or a grown woman suit this could also represent a mother or an auntie for some of you guys um doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship this person is cold-blooded anyway 
You know what I mean? Very structured, very disciplined, very everything is by the book, do it my way, do, 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 robot, robot, do the robot. You know what I mean? That's how this person is. But you hope to get on and cut the energy because this is a swords card. Remember, we're talking air again. Okay? We're ready to cut that energy, period. To the point where when you wake up in the morning, you're not even thinking about this person no more. Like that whole concept. Can you get that through your mind? Because some of y'all can't even imagine that. Like, I can't imagine not thinking about that person each and every single day. But you're getting to that time and that energy where you're going to be able to let it go energetically to the point where some of y'all might even forget the person's name. It's that strong. And it's that real if you believe it. Some of y'all that got cords to people and, and, and soul ties to people that you're just ready to let go of and you're just ready to be done with it. You got the actual power to do it. You don't have to cry and sit in misery all day. You don't have to sit and wonder, is this person going to come back in? Because you best believe they're coming back in with something retarded, something stupid. You know what I'm saying? Something that don't work. Something that's dysfunctional. Something that's toxic. And you on a whole nother plane. Now, final outcome, final outcome, final outcome. What y'all got going on? Ah, oh, Ten of Cups. See, your home is about to be blessed. And it's going to be more so with like family, bringing in the bag, you know, securing things for the future, that type of energy, okay? You're making your home secure. Your focus is going to be, uh, I'm getting comfort with you guys, uh, the things that you come home to and just make you go, oh, I'm so happy I'm home. Like that kind of energy, you know, if you have children, making sure they're cozy, you know, making sure that they're comfortable, making sure that they are, you know, fed well and all that kind of stuff. That's you all day anyway. You're a cancer. You're very nurturing and loving and you make your home your palace and that is exactly what you're going to be doing some of you guys will be decorating you will be setting up shop in terms of like i said this money these projects these long term having something to pass to your children look at those beautiful children sitting down there this is this man explaining that and you explain it to your children making that home grown all these kids finna know more about finances and wealth and all that kind of stuff so your children might as well be a part of that wave and movement too now bottom of the deck oh the devil is a lie this is the energy for some of y'all that's been feeling tired, for some of y'all that's been waiting for this night of uh, cups to come back in, all this deceptive energy, all of this nine of swords energy, going back and forth wondering who you're supposed to cut out and who you're not supposed to cut out. Stuff being ended and you just want to get away from it all. You want to want to know what you want to get away from? That energy. You want to know why? Because once you detach from that energy, from his energy or this entity's energy, you get something new. I love this car. He looked like he's seen a ghost or he looked like he's seen the devil. He trying to get the hell on. You know what I mean? His ass bucked wide open. She got her ass closed like bird box. You know what I mean? She don't even want to see it. He's just like, dude, get us out of here. And that's what all of this is. All of this, she trying to get him and lying to him and he lying back and forth. All of that I told you was toxic. Just if you let the toxic energy go, you know what happens? You give room for something new. And boy, ain't it about time for something new, Cancer? New man, new money. For some of y'all, my fellas out there, new chick, new, new woman. You know what I mean? And it all comes... From separating one energy source to a, to the next. Like if you think about a plug. Okay. You plug into one socket. Okay. That's the socket that was here with all this toxic energy. And boy, it's just time to unplug from that and plug into something else. Plug into light, to love, to manifestation of money, to results, to partnerships, to a happy home. Whew. Cancer. You just have to breathe. Because I feel like some of y'all coming from a lot, especially with relationships. Relationships, relationships, relationships have been highlighted over and over and over again. Especially for water signs. You got to purge these energies because it's time to move on to something else, something new. This guy got to go right up under the devil. We got the emperor. Master of self. Master of whatever it is that you're doing. Something new. Master of that gym. Making it look good. Making it look easy. Everybody think they can do it. When the emperor does it, it does look easy. You running things. You you setting up your own shop for the future. An emperor 
it's, it's above a king. Like a king is cool. You got a whole king order, but an emperor, come on, man, that's a step above. Uh, and this is also in terms of like spiritually, like you've mastered yourself, your talents, your gifts. Instead of coming out looking awkward, hey everybody, look what I can do. Really? And everybody laughing as you judging you talking judging you and talking about you. Then it's like boom, doom, 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 doom. Here I come back. Like I went in the in the closet as a little lamb because I was so afraid of everybody talking. But when I came out, I was a beast. Look at that beast. And then then look at the devil. Ironically, in this deck, the emperor is bigger than the devil. Ooh, come on now, somebody. Y'all finna make me, boy, where the organ at? We're like, we in church. Do, 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 do. Come on now. The emperor is bigger than the devil. What? Oh, come on. Shout out. Shout out. Who is the, what deck is this? OMG. What deck is this? Mm. This is the Spellcasters Tarot. Yeah, shout out to um, Melanie Marquise. Illustrated by Scott Murphy. My dude. My dude. Yo, the emperor is bigger than the devil. That means you bigger than any demon, any devil, any entity, any sad chick that thought she took your man, any deceptive lying knight that come in and out trying to lie and deceive all that toxic energy. Sit down. Sit down. And under that, we got the partnership card. And then we got some sexy messages coming in from a king of swords. So you guys are definitely looking like the month will get so much better and so much more lighter because you're letting go of such a huge energy. It's like literally, and I'm feeling like for the first time for a lot of you, you really finna stump on the devil's head. You really finna get ahead of this thing. And it will like literally clear out. Imagine a, a car full of smoke, right? And then you just roll down the window and all that smoke dissipates and now it's clear. That's what it is. Whew, cancer. Congratulations. Better times are definitely coming. You will escape the devil. <laughs> all right, so that is what I get for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all of your love and support. You know I appreciate you guys so, so very much. If you need a private reading, hit me up, waterstarvibes at gmail.com. Um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at waterstarvibes. And um, keep liking, subscribing, sharing, telling all your friends about waterstarvibes. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in your next video.